inaitwa Teresia Tieno na kwa tuna naosa mguu na nikasikia kusungusungu kukuja kwa nyumba ni pumzika siku fika nianguka kwa majina mimi naitwa Janet Awino mimi ni CHV Community Health Volunteer nafanya kazi ya kwa identify hao watu wanaishi na ulemavu Mimi majina yangu yote kamili naitwa Eunice Sakini. Sasa hii niko na watoto sita. My name is John Kanja. I'm the project manager for the Matano Newborn Child Health Project. This is a project which has been funded by the European Union since 2014. We work with three partner organizations. These are local organizations in uh, Kibera and Korogocho. Our first partner is Nairobi Family Support Services, which is based in Kibera. And uh, also in Kibera, we have the Action Network for the Disabled. In Korogocho, we work with Light and Hope for children with disabilities. We also collaborate with the Nairobi County Health Services and health facilities in Kibera and Korogocho to improve maternal and child health services in these areas. but baya ama mzuri nipata hiyo mimba mzee akasema hataki mama hataki mtoto mnyawezaliwa na mlimavu nitoe mtoto tulijaribu kutoa akakataa kutoka mtoto wako sasa hivi lemavu si kuzaliwa naye lemavu nili nilianguka kibati mbaya tu anti yangu alikuwa amekaa kwa kiti ni nikapanda nyuma ya kiti then aliamka nikaanguka na hiyo kiti na tunaenda naenda na kijiji kila siku kuanzia asubuhi kuangalia kwa sababu kuna wengine wenye wajawazito na kuna wengine wenye wamejifungua na pia kuna wengine wenye tunawafundisha umuhimu wa upangaji wa uzazi sasa unajua wengi wetu wanaogopanga kwenda kliniki. Jua kienda kliniki akifika pale ataanza kutukana. We mlemavu we uoni we ni mlemavu na una zaza ovyo ovyo. Si usimamia hapo kuzaa. Sasa hivyo ndio inafanyanga watu wanafanya nini? Awasuguliki nayo. Sasa nikaanzia kliniki. So siku naenda kwa kile siku juu sana ndio nashindwa kupanda kitanda. Sasa niko na kupanga kuenda. Kuna siku na mama alikuja Janet yule anaitwa Janet akakuja hapa kwangu kanambia kuna masomo huko juu hata nilikuwa na kupanga kutoka nje wakati nilipara guys. Ndio tulikuwa tunaniangalia sasa kanipeleka hapo. Ngoenda kwa masomo. Sasa kuanzia hiyo siku naona ngo nilikuwa na nguvu na natembea nje. Tambo nilikuwa natembea anga nikiangalia watu kama wananiangalia hata inabidi sasa mimi narudi kwa nyumba na kaa. Walikuja kwa nyumba. Nikikuja kunihudumia venye nilikuwa mgonjwa anapeleka hospitali nikafanywa upasuaji akapewa discharge akarudi akaanza tu kukachap pole 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 na sisi tunampatia tu health talk na tunina fuatilia story yake vile inaendelea na zidi tu kumfundisha kula chakula ya fulani kula hii nyonyesha tu mtoto continuous vitu kama hizo mpaka sasa hizi akakuwa perfect wanatufunza mafunzo mingi sana yenye hata nilifurahia sana. Okay, Handicap International ime to train a lot. Zamani hatukuwa tunajua types of disability, hatukuwa tunajua vile tunaweza communicate na hao watu, hatukuwa tunaweza jua vile tunaweza wa identify. Sasa naona through that health talk na hiyo training tumekuwa tukifundishwa imefanywa mama wingi at least wamechanuka. Wao umesoma uko uni. Four years ukiwa pale umevaa ile kofia yenu kubwa but ukikuja field umejua nitakuonyesha dini strategy zetu za field na nitakuitegea nayo field kwa identify ye huyu ako hapa huyu ako hapa huyu ako hapa huyu ako hapa huyu ako na hii type ya disability huyu ako ako na hii type ya disability sasa unaona wewe una experience na mimi niko niko wewe uko na theory na mimi niko na practical sasa nani mdosi 